Welcome to Rim Tim Timmy's Fun Time Hour. <clears throat> I'm your host, Rim Tim Timmy. And today, uh, uh, fuck. Uh, today's show, uh, it's just it's like your typical show. We're we're gonna have we're gonna have guests and fun times. A lot of celebrity talk. Like, like we celebrity segment. Oh, and cue music. Cuba Gooding Jr. turns himself into police. Wait, turns himself into police? He's becoming a policeman. Uh, uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. turns himself into police. Apparently, Cuba Gooding Jr. is becoming a police officer. According to TMZ reports, the alleged victim called 911 in the wee hours of the morning claiming Cuba Gooding Jr. touched her breast. Police officer is not supposed to do that. Uh, Cuba, uh, if you're listening, uh, a police officer is supposed to protect the innocent and fight for what's good and true, you're not off to a good start if you're turning yourself into police. Uh, oh, favorite Cuba Gooding Jr. Uh, movies. Uh, uh, t- uh, top one, uh, Snow Dogs. Snow Dogs is a great film because uh, there's dogs and there's snow and I like snow. Uh, cause no, uh, shit, fucking cares. Um, alleged victim touched her breast. Man, what's wrong with the fucking police? These days. Other celebrity celebrity news. Celebrity nude? No. News. Uh, Portia Williams sparks cosmetic surgery rumors. See her latest photo. Yes, please. What's her latest photo? Uh, okay. I mean, it looks like your typical Instagram photo. It's like, you know, it, with Instagram, is is it cosmetic surgery or is it Photoshop? You never know. Or sometimes it's both. You know, it's like you can get the alien look one of two ways. You can do it in post or you can do it post op. Uh, anyway, uh, Portia looking good or not. Uh, f- okay, from Mila Kunis to Hillary Duff, celebrities who lied about their... Oh, they lied about their age. Jesus Christ, is Mila Kunis 60? I always thought she was 60 years old. Okay, Hillary Duff, for example, revealed in 2015 that she would pretend to be older to party in Hollywood. Oh, that's really naughty. Uh, bah, bah, bah. This isn't a story. What else we got here? Uh, what, what? Oh, is this one of these? God damn it. You know what's the worst? Is these damn slideshows on the internet. I'm sorry. There's an, we all have enough memory and RAM in our browsers to see your entire post. I don't need to click on a slideshow. This isn't a PowerPoint presentation. I wanted a PowerPoint presentation I'd go back to my women's studies class. This is a non-story. Oh, Kunis confessed in 2012 that she told a white lie while auditioning. That's racist. While auditioning for a 70s show. Legally, I was 14, but I told him I was a bit older. I told them I was going gonna be 18, which is not technically a lie. 
Yeah, no, Mila, you're in the clear. It's the creeps who cast you who didn't check an ID. Yeah, we'll just take your word for it. She was 14. Man, yeah, it's not on you. You're 14 years old. You could say I'm a goddamn... You could say I'm actually, uh, I'm actually a sea lion. And we go, oh, kids. You're a kid. You can, when you're 14, you literally can say whatever you want. And it's up to the adults in the room to cut through the bullshit. Jesus Christ, the shit I was saying when I was 14. Uh, uh, true story. When I was in, uh, uh, even younger, I believe in, you know, the probably first grade ish. They all like, you know, we did those like tell a story about your family history or something. And it became this game of who's related to the most. I think I've talked about this with. Uh, anyway, we're back on air. I got a call uh, <clears throat> from someone I, I used to know. Huh. Um, anyways, I was in first grade and, and, and it became a, a I, I definitely told this story before in some other life. Um, it became a, a who's who's related to the most famous person. And I told a white lie. Uh, actually, I, I said I was related to the famous uh, Native American Sitting Bull. I think that's his name. Indian Chief Sitting Bull. Um from what I know, that is a complete lie. I mean, I guess I could because I haven't checked. I guess there's a point zero 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 one percent chance that I'm related to him. I'm guessing no. So it's kind of like Mila Kunis's lie, where it's like it wasn't technically a lie because I didn't know. It's like, and also we're all kind of related at some point, right? Like we all come from, from like, uh, you know, like single cell organisms. We were all a single cell organism at some point, so we're all related. So technically I'm related to Tom Hanks, you know, it, it could have been when our, when our two cells split 5 billion years ago, but wow, I'm related to, I'm related to, no shit. It makes a lot of sense that I'm related to Tom Hanks. It makes a lot of sense. Sandra Bullock, the actress admitted to Barbara Walters in 1992 that she pretended to be older to get the role of Diane in Love Potion number nine. Okay, Sandra, come on. Get it together. Jesus Christ. We can't have that, can we? We can't have the actor, the leading actress in Love Potion number nine telling lies. It's Love Potion number nine, for fuck's sake. It's the ninth movie in a nine-part series. This is a very important franchise. Branded content. Understate. Oh, this is an ad. Gabrielle Carteris. Don't know who she... Oh, I recognize her. She's from the, the Bev Hills 9021. Back in 1990, she was 29 at the time, so she pretended to be younger. They didn't know I lied. Carteris admitted on Access Hollywood. I actually talked to a lawyer about it. How I could sign these contracts and lie about my age and still be able to do the show. Is it okay, she asked. And yes... It is as long as you say you're over 21. This is, I think I'm just, dudes, Hollywood's kind of gross. I'm just, this is like, I think I just realized. You know, it's like, I don't think Hollywood's the wholesome place I always thought it was. I always thought it was a place of dreams and wholesomeness and, and you know, sexual favors, but, you know, just like the good kind. You know, the kind like, I really want to be Spider-Man, so I will do anything and everything right now to be Spider-Man. Those kind of sexual favors. I mean, those are like good wholesome favors, right? Because I really want to be Spider-Man. You know, so it's like... Um, so it's like, uh, oh, oh, uh, 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 you're, Jeff, come in. And I go, yeah, I'm 29. And they go, oh, okay. And they, and they go, and they go. Uh, well, uh, can you read for Peter Parker? And I go, yes. And I will do much more than that. And they go, 
I'm just needing you to read the lines. And I go, oh, I'll read the lines and then some. And they're like, no, just just stick to the page. And I'm going, get out of the room, son. Whoa, Nicki Minaj. Uh, when the rapper filed a police report with Cuba Gooding Jr. in 2011 over an alleged assault, the paperwork revealed she was born in 1982. She's older than me? No fucking way. No way! Man, I've aged poorly. Who's this guy? Who's this guy? Nelly. Oh, okay. Well, the musician was named as one of teen people's hottest stars under 25. Let me guess he wasn't actually under 25. Is that where this is going? It was later revealed that he and his team fibbed. He was actually 28. Dude, you you stole a Teen People cover? Could have been me, man. Could have been me. Jesus Christ. Hillary Duff. She used to lie about her age all the time to get into nightclubs. Yeah, me too. It's like, you know, it's like, I still do it. I go, they go, um, you know, can I get in this club? And they go, no. And I go, Eight smart ways to spend less on your next trip. Oh, fuck. No, it's an ad. Uh, Carla uh, Gugino? Gugino? Gugino. She pretended to be younger to star in... Guys, we gotta stop with this. Okay, age is nothing to be ashamed of unless you're over 35. I happen to be 35, so I don't need to be ashamed of my age. You know, I got I got one year not to be ashamed of my age. And then next year, it's like Logan's run, man. It's like no one can know. No one can know. Do you understand? I don't turn 36 next year. I turn 29. Getting me? Yes, Officer Cuba. It's right here on my license. Please don't touch my breast. OJ Simpson joins Twitter. Ugh. No! After murder talks getting even. OJ, I thought you already got even. Wasn't that what that was all about? Jesus Christ. Though I do kind of want to see what he tweets. It's like, I really want to know what his politics are. We think OJ's a red pillar? Um, Wendy Williams just keeps getting shad shadier and sh shadier and shadier. Oh. Um, okay. Well, that's not really a story. That's just a judgment. Um how being flirty with just I don't know who these people are I I need to catch up on my celebrities Khloe Kardashian congratulates ex-husband Lamar Odom on his tell-all book Congre didn't he like really screw her over why would she congratulate him or is this a joke wait is this a joke keep shining she says <clears throat> Guess you, uh, you know, is this, is she trolling him? Because I thought, didn't he like, I can't be spreading, I can't, if, you know, I can't be talking from a place of ignorance. I'm sorry, I have to, I don't know, I'm not all caught up on this, I can't, I can't comment. Um, what else we got? Uh, Olivia Munn aids in helping a New York City couple find their kidnapped dog. What a goddamn hero. Jesus Christ. What a fucking... What a fucking hero. Jesus Christ. I mean, I loved her in Newsroom, but now... Now... I... Now... She... She needs to become a cop. 
Uh, Olivia Munn is coming to the rescue after a New York City couple claimed their dog was kidnapped from WAG. Oh, a dog walking app. Oh, Olivia Munn's a spokesperson for this app, WAG, and somebody's dog got kidnapped on it. So now she's coming to the rescue. How is she rescuing me, though? When it was upon learning the alarming news, the duo reported. Blah, 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 blah. What's where she become a hero though? We were speaking with Olivia nonstop. She was connected with very senior people at WAG. Well, that way to go, Olivia. I mean, aren't you like the senior person? Uh, come up with. She helped them come up with a game plan. Okay. Uh, uh, hi, hi, is this Olivia Munn? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, your app got her dog kidnapped. Oh, fuck. Yeah, oh, fuck. Well, we should probably come up with a game plan. Yeah. I don't know. For starters, get your dog back? Sounds like a game plan. Game plan. Yeah, here's the game plan. Get my fucking dog back. Uh... <laughs> does this this better end with her getting the dog otherwise you can't say olivia munn helps a couple whose dog was kidnapped kidnapped because if you don't get the dog back you didn't help them you got their dog kidnapped but the pair are not giving it they're still looking what the fuck usmagazine.com Olivia Munn aids in helping a New York City couple I I need to make sure but this but the pair are not going to give up on looking for Benny it's been 15 her your dog your dog's gone she didn't help she helped yes she helped the couple get their dogs kidnapped get their dog kidnapped oh my god Guys, how far do we bend to save face here? Olivia Munn aids in helping a New York City couple find their kidnapped dog that wouldn't have been kidnapped if it wasn't for her app. Right? Let me help you out with this headline. Olivia Munn aids in getting a New York City couple's dog kidnapped. Jesus, I need I need I need public publicists to do spin jobs like that for me. Holy shit. Here's a spin job. Uh like uh you know, uh I don't know how hands-on dad Casey Affleck keeps his son sons Indiana and Atticus dude those aren't your son's names come on man Atticus like Atticus Finch isn't that who's Atticus Finch yeah 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 right uh, I don't know, man. These names. I heard the other day that somebody uh named their kid Davos from um Game of Thrones, and I go uh. First of all, do you have plans to 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 chop off your your son's fingers, and then he'll go. It was a just punishment for a for a just crime. And you go no, no. Dude, if you're gonna name you're gonna name your kid after a Game of Thrones character, it should be the Night King. Hey Night King, uh uh come here, breakfast is ready, and he'll just look at you. And then somebody will jump out of the air and just stab him in the back. Uh Davos lives though, right? Yeah, he's on the <laughs> whatever man this episode has been very freeing there's something something nice about 
all this silence. One more, one more, once more into the breach, dear friends. Celebrity news, Google, help me out. Uh, uh, TMZ.com. This is where I, uh, I'm a, I'm a heavy reader. I check TMZ every day. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> Surveillance video shows Cuba Gooding Jr. put hand on accuser. Yeah, that's not what, that's not a good, good start to your cop career there, Cuba. Not a good start. You know, it's like, you know, you're putting your hands on the wrong people there, Cuba. A cop's supposed to put their hands on the bad guys. You got your good guys, but you got your bad guys. Uh, <sighs> Bella Thorne, XBF mod son on the passport sitch. A well timed. This is not a sentence. Okay. Yo, uh, is, do I not know how to read anymore? Bella, this is what it says. Bella Thorne, underline, XBF, mod son, on the passport sitch, dot, 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 a well-timed lie. Okay, if I'm going to break this down, Jesus Christ. Are there new words I don't know? XBF Mod Son is his name Mod Son. XBF Mod Son. XBF Mod Son on the passport sitch. His name is Mod Son. Jesus Christ. What is a Mod Son? He's a rapper. But let me guess, no, he's not. Anyway, I'm sad now. I will not do this anymore. Fucking... Ooh, Celebrity Zaddies. Guess who? Uh, 